Hello friends of YouTube and welcome back with a new video. You're probably watching this video because your PS4 will have a problem and that will be a lot of noise. And it will sound like that. Yeah, that's the noise that my PS4 Pro does these days and it turns, it, it turns off by itself sometimes when I play a game or downloading. You know, actually, it turns off by itself when I download and play games. So, let me show you what I mean. So, this is my PS4 Pro here. At this moment, I don't play any game and it doesn't make any sound. It sounds very little, not something important. But, when I will start the game, See, that's the sound of a turbo engine or an airplane. So, if I keep playing this game, uh, it won't go down. But if on the background I download something simultaneously with playing a game, uh, something like multitasking, the PS4 will turn off. And let me show you what I mean. So, I, die, I go to the PS Store and put to download the Uncharted 4, a theme send, as you can see. Now, let's go and start the game. I will start the Apex or maybe the Call of Duty Warzone. Now the sound has started, and in a few minutes it will go. Ah, you see? So the PS4 is too hot and it must be turned down to be cooler. Anyway, let's see what we can do about that. So, this is my baby here, uh, and as you can see it's very dirty, anyway, I have never opened it, I have never cleaned it, it's a very strong machine, don't be fooled by that, the PS4 Pro is a strong machine, so that's why it does some noise, but it's not good when it turns off by itself. Okay, strong machines do big noise. Now, uh, you should know that I don't bring any responsibility if you do some damage to your PS4. This is, will be a guide video on how to clean it and change your thermal paste. I have never done it before, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna make it. So, what you're gonna need for this, of course, it's a uh, thermal paste. I have here the Arctic MX4. It's very good, I use this a lot in my computer. A screwdriver with a magnetic and some Torx. You see, very small ones, and of course some Philip, Philips uh, screwdrivers, a brush to clean off the dust, and probably a bit of alcohol to clean the the thermal paste from the CPU. Now let me get prepared. So as you can see here, one glove didn't make the process, I cut it off. Anyway, let's continue. I have only one glove. Yeah, that's good. So let's begin. We go on the back side here. And you want to begin by removing this screw here. And this uh, Phillips screwdriver. Oh, sorry, no. First, remove the plastic. So, we've removed the hard drive here. Let's put this on the side. Be sure to have a cardboard or a piece of paper so that you can place your screws so that you don't lose them. I use a mouse pad, a mouse pad anyway. This here is a sticker that I place so that you can be holding the wall, so don't give this any, don't worry about that. Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, something like that will be probably useful also. So we remove the warranty stickers from here. And we have one, two, three torque 
screwdrivers. So I guess piece looks like number seven T7 torque. Let me show you. This is a torque screwdriver. See? So I have removed these three these uh, three torque screws. One, two, three. Now, what we gotta do is turn out piece four. This side, go up here, down, and. Pull. And down. You pull up here and turn down. Okay. So that's some nasty shitty things. Yep. So we'll put this on the side. Look here. How much dust? How can my PS4 work good and don't make noise? Totally logical. So, what we're gonna do now, turn this baby around, bring it again on this side. So, now we have to remove the power supply. So, uh, we actually these two screw here's one and two. So we have removed one and two here. And now we turn back again the PS4. And you go here on the one corner. And pull hard. The other side now. Stuff. Yes. Yeah, that was tough. Fuck. Very tough. Oh shit. You see? So much dust again. Look at this. Anyway, now we have to remove the power supply and we have to remove these screws. So let's begin with that. So now that we have removed all the screws and the aluminum foil there, we pull the supply. So you, as you can see here, wait a minute, I want to show you, see, it's here, what's in there, and you want to pull this cable here, so the power supply is off, so now, in this part you want to take off all the cables, see here,
So now that we have removed all the cables here from the motherboard, don't remove from here only from the motherboard. Now we have to unscrew all the torque uh, screws. Just now, okay, not this one here on the motherboard on the plate. So now that we have removed all the Philip uh, the, the, the torque uh, screwdrivers, we want to remove the Philip screwdrivers, but they are very small. Be careful not to lose those, very small. So uh, I have to suggest you a little trick. If you want to remember where exactly the every screw goes, I suggest you to take two colors of two different uh, two markers from two different colors, one black and one red maybe, and point the red as the torque screws and the black as the Phillips screws. This will help you a lot. So now that all the screws are off, we grab the metal plate here. Well, we have to make this cable like that here, so we're good. So we have removed the metal plate here, put this on the side. So I'm gonna take a bit of the brush here. And now I have to unscrew all this. So we have removed all the screws. So, uh, as you can see, once you lift this, be careful, all these thermal pads, don't lose any one of them. See? Be careful, guys, not to lose them. So now I'll remove these screws. This way down. So now we lift the motherboard. Be very careful.
and here is the thermal base guys so now we have to clean this here so I use a small amount of alcohol see what the fuck Sony did here Okay, I don't know how the fuck did this here. The thermal patient isn't supposed to be like that. So this is as far as I can clean. You know, I don't want to press it at all. You don't want to damage it. So after you clean this as better as you can, of course, now you proceed with this one. So after you clean this both, place the motherboard on a safe spot on the side. <coughs> so uh, before we remove this, be sure that all the thermal pads are also here, you can see them. Okay, and now we have to remove uh, some other screws to take this and clean the radiator so let's uh, remove this here and this here So as you can see this is in a very, 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 very bad situation, so there's no wondering why my PS4 can't make so much noise and turns off by itself, I have to clean it. And as I said again, be careful the thermal pads here. And as you can see here also there is so much dust. I'm going to remove the fan now. So you also see here there's too much dust. So now what you want to do is start and clean everything off. Be very gentle and be careful how to clean it. So I have cleaned everything from the dust. As you can see here, uh, I did what best I could. Uh, I tried to be gentle. 
you don't want to break anything or damage something on the motherboard or anything or anywhere else you know because every piece here guys is very important uh, I'm not sure why Sony put so much thermal paste on this uh, CPU I usually put a very small amount of the center and just place it again uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now I was thinking that I place a bit of more amount and uh, apply it to the surface anyway uh, <coughs> as you can see I cough <coughs> so I suggest you guys when you clean the piece for from the dust <coughs> oh my god <coughs> you wear a mask on your face okay and another more small tip uh, for you so not you don't have uh, big problems uh, be sure that your torque here has uh, you see it doesn't have a hole you should find torques with a hole in the middle here or else you will have big problems So uh, now let's continue with uh, the thermal paste to apply. So we have the Arctic here MX4. How we do this? So I'm gonna do it as usual. I just do something like that. You know what? The first part here is very sticky, so I'm not sure if I want to keep it there. See, this is the from the edge, and it's very tough, like a rock, almost like a rock, more like a mat. So I'm gonna place this here a little bit more. I guess that's enough. <coughs> uh, I'm not sure, probably some of you want to apply also to the radiator copper here. I'm not gonna do it. Or maybe I'm just gonna put a small amount also here to the copper. A very small amount. Like that. So now we're ready. <coughs> so let's go with uh, the assembly now. So now we go with the assembly of the PS4. We start from the uh, fan again. You should know guys, if you have the right tools, the process is very easy. I fucked up there with uh, the torque screwdriver. It should have a hole in it, but anyway, I managed to do it with my own ways. So now we put one and two. So after we place the fan over there, we take the metal frame here and be sure all the cables are on the top, guys. Okay. Don't let anything be from down. Try to bring them up here. There. I hope I'm not getting anything, you know, it will be a big fucking problem. You see, if 
with the cables down beneath a metal frame so we have this here and place the two screws one here So now that we place the metal bracket and screwed it down, one and two, you have, as you can see, I have already applied the thermal paste. And let's put it on. So everything is on the place. Be sure all the antennas are on the top again. Don't forget that. It's uh, important, you know. So now that we have placed the motherboard, we take this uh, bracket here. And this cross metal bracket also and the big screws and tie it up be sure to, to screw and tie a little bit on every edge don't screw too much on one side Ella! Ella! So after we place the cross, so now uh, we continue with uh, the other metal uh, case. And now we connect all the cables back Now that we have placed the metal frame and connected all the cables, we have to start by putting back all the torque uh, screws. Uh, 
after you place all the torque uh, screws here 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 you leave those two here you have to place first the power supply so after you put all those now put the Philip uh, screws the Philip screws So now all the screws are on the place, so we turn the PS4 around and we are ready to place the power supply. And of course we connect the cable first, connect it here. Now we have connected the cable and with uh, very big careful place the power supply inside trying not to damage anything We place the aluminum foil here and beginning by putting these uh, two big screws the big screws, one here one here and the other three small torque screws, one, two, three here so now we have placed the power supply we turn again back side our PS4 and we take the two Final torque screws, one here and one here. So now we have put all our screws everywhere and the power supply. Now we go with the plastic uh, covers. So we start from, but you see, I have this side here on me. So you go grab here back. Pull it at your face and push it down and it's in. Turn around and do the same. The face is back, you see. So you put this here and you pull. So maybe that will be easier, I think. Yes. Turn it back again. We put the final screws. We have placed our three small torque uh, screws. Now we take our a hard drive disk I'm sorry, this goes like that for you guys in there our screw screwdriver here Taking back our warranty stickers. Of course, our plastic bracket here. That's it. So let's go see now how it works. So this is the moment of truth, I have connected everything, let's turn the power on, I'm really fucking nervous. Okay, it started working. So until now everything works very good, 
Uh, let's start a game. But first, I'm gonna pause the downloading process. Let's begin with Apex Legends. Oh my god. There's no sound yet. It works so good. Holy crap. Okay, let's try uh, downloading something also. So the downloading process started and let's start Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is a uh, bigger game. No sound yet. I know you're a beast machine. Yeah, guys. Okay, that's really unbelievable how much job this uh, process did. It was a big process, but it was actually worth it doing it. Uh, I didn't spend not even one euro just by buying the thermal paste, which costs only seven euros. And now my PS4 works perfectly. Doesn't turn off. Doesn't make so, 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 doesn't make noise. Here, can you hear anything? I can't hear shit. Good. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. Yes. So I think this is the end of my video. Uh, I hope you liked it guys, I know the process looks difficult, but believe me, it's not so difficult, I believe you also can do it by yourself. And I mean, look at that, there's no sound at all. Before that, you couldn't play, I was making videos and the sound of the PS4 was sounding inside my microphone. This is perfect, guys, you should do it, uh, I really recommend it. Just follow my video, also check some other videos, I believe will help you to find also your exact uh exactly if you ha don't have the same model ps4 pro that i had because this is one of the first models ps4 pro that was out on the market uh if you have also the ps4 slim just do that it's very good so thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it if you liked it please hit the like button and of course subscribe to my channel for more thank you guys see you in the next one bye